Bob Kerman's log, day 12. I haven't made a log entry for the past few days because not much has really happened. That's the trouble with space, brief bits of crazy excitement and then a whole lot of nothing. I spent the day on Freeport Station while my ship refueled. I made sure to get a balanced amount of liquid fuel and oxidizer. I didn't top off the liquid fuel tanks because the extra capacity is for running the rapiers in jet mode and I won't be doing that for a while. The extra liquid fuel would just be dead weight, killing my Delta V. I cleared out just after they stopped the rotating anti-grav section and stabilized the station, right as the station was entering the nighttime side. I had a contract to scan Minmus, and so that's where I was headed. By my calculations, my ship has about 1,900 meters per second of Delta V, maybe a little bit more than that, depending on how you calculate the mod propellant. <laughs> So once you take out 900 for the transfer to Minmus, about uh, 300 to get into orbit around Minmus, and maybe another 300 to land just to be safe, we're talking about maybe 400 meters per second to spare, something like that. Anyway, I head out, gave my rapiers a quick burn in order to boost away from the station. This is gonna be my first time away from low carbon orbit. I had been up in low carbon orbit before I got the ED stretch uh, for other work before, but I've never left it before, so this is going to be, well, this is going to be the start of the adventure, I guess. I have to say I'm really nervous about it because, well, there's no telling what could happen out there. And, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to get yourself into trouble. It's the easiest thing in the world to light those engines and sit out to plot your maneuver and go for it. What happens after that? Well, I guess that's what makes a Kerbal a Kerbal. That's a test of what kind of Kerbal you are. And I guess that's what I'm heading out to find out. I hope I won't be disappointed. Anyway, I burned out of one of the nodes, so I hit the orbit of Minmus on the opposite node, and that saved me the trouble of making a mid-course plane change because of the inclination difference with, with Minmus. I guess the mid-course correction would have made the trip out a little bit more interesting. It's eight days between Kerbin and Minmus at the speed I was going at. It was tough to figure out what to do with myself for all that time, uh, it's a good thing that we've got good communications in Kerbin SOI and good internet access, so I was able to watch all of my favorite shows. But, but it was still, well, I can't complain. I'm a Kerbal, and space is where we belong. On day 11, I entered Minmus SOI, and the uh, mint-colored moon was in my sight. Minmus is basically a free-for-all. Everybody wants to drill there. There are lots of people who are interested in getting scans. You get all sorts of resources from it that will help you make your way to other planets. And so there's no shortage of people heading over to Minmus and trying their luck. And I'm just the latest of them. I'm not scanning just to fulfill a contract after all. I'm also scanning for my own good because I'll use the information from the scan to figure out where I can drill for ore and refuel at. Anyway, I made a mistake on my first burn. I made a correction burn trying to get into a polar orbit, but accidentally went into a retrograde orbit instead. I should have followed the maneuver node that I plotted, but didn't. I thought I knew better. But anyway, so I replotted after I figured it out, and I got into a polar orbit. Uh, got my inclination to 95 degrees, which was good enough. Every so often, I got to see exactly how far away I was from Earth and the Moon. And a whole flood of emotions came from that. I mean, fear, excitement, wonder. On the one hand, I feel like I've finally made it. On the other hand, I have to keep my head together because I need to make sure I don't make any mistakes. And I'm a long ways away from being safe out here. Getting into orbit around Minmus took more fuel than I planned. And that was partly because of the inclination mistake I made earlier. But uh, in any case, I still have enough fuel to land and refuel on in the surface once I've gotten the scanning done. But the scanning's the first thing, and it's got to take some time. I got myself into a nice circular orbit, or a close circular anyway, a good scanning orbit uh, to uh, get on with my work. 
Now the question was whether my equipment would be up to the task and everything is safe from malfunctions. I wish there was more to look at on Minmus. I'm a bit too high to see all the activity that's bound to be going on on the ground. So all I end up doing to pass the time is stare at the instrument panel looking at the readouts that are coming in from the scanners. But I have to say, I'm not totally sure how to read what it's telling me here. I mean, are the pink splotches or? Are the gray splotches or? Are those altitude markers, biomes? Um, I, I can see I'm getting some more detailed scans coming in, but I'm gonna have to figure this all out before I try and land and start drilling for ore here. But anyway, progress continued, and I expect it'll be about two or three days before I get all of Inmus covered. I'll plan a landing as soon as I've got all the data transmitted and I've got confirmation that they paid me my funds. After that, if uh, something's gonna go wrong, at least I'll have some extra cash to work with. Anyway, that's it for me for day 12, and I guess the next entry will be when I finally land on Minmus, probably day 14 or 15.